Hello and uh, welcome to the first episode of uh, what I like to call lockpicking adventures or not adventures but uh, inventions I should say and uh, yeah whenever I get some ideas and uh, for tools and things I want to share yeah, we're gonna make a video here so I have see I'm, I have a creative mind and I tend to like to come up with problem or solutions to problems anyway this one is a uh, the pagoda impressioning tool idea that we have uh, and we have the tool here but just so you know um, this is meant to impression open locks that look like this basically the ones that have the keys that would look something like this well they look like this and they tension from that upper portion just over here not that part but this part here and uh, they work by pushing all the discs down to the right heights and then allowing the core to turn but this is a ground down key here for and as you can see um, this portion here is where we tension the lock so that's where we got some ideas for, I've picked up this lock before with this type of tool. So that's what that does anyways. Um, now this tool for today's video is the impressioning tool as I've said before. Um, and let's try and explain how it works. So let me see here, we've got the, first of all the um, concept for this you know the idea is, comes from something like this this is the uh, tubular impressioning tool the Goso model but the ideas on how to make an impressioning tool for these pagoda locks comes from this and a very similar idea you can see here we have on this tool we have those little um, slider thingamajiggies uh, indexing, I don't know what you want to call those things the the pick tips, we'll call them pick tips if we take that cover off and then obviously when the pin in the tubular lock gets pushed to the right height you can see that piece there moves up and down depending on the strength of the spring in there and all that and underneath we have the rubber ring for tension so again let's let's compare it to this just so we can see what the differences are anyways so you have your handle first of all you know, the handle again there's the button you see there push the button in to allow that to slide up and reset all the you know all the the pick tips this one my uh, my design has the actually only has three pick tips because there are only three discs inside these locks and um, the blue one there is, picks the outermost disc the green one picks the I believe it's the middle disc and then the red one picks the innermost disc okay and just like these little pick tips do when they move up and down those teeth uh, they can move up to different heights normally they would rest flush there so yeah of course this black part here is the brown part on there and it tensions the lock just like this black part here would tension the lock on a tubular lock the black part there it tensions it using using those pieces there now just bear in mind that this lock this lock pick has to be the size it's actually going to be about the size of this key compared to that so I mean it is a complex tool an idea because well the parts are very small you know we're, we're talking about rounded pieces that are 
smaller tubu little tubular pieces that are smaller than that pick tip there to fit one inside the other like a telescope and as you can see on this drawing see the blue one there sits on the outside the green one sits inside the blue one and then inside the green one sits the red one and of course they have to be small enough to yeah, not fit inside this brown part which is the tensioning head so it would have to be smaller than that so imagine this could be a pretty fragile tool for a, for a impressioning tool so you'd have to be gentle anyways and you have to make sure the materials are good I suppose um, practical maybe to design or to build this but because there are other designs I've got which you'll see in a future video but this is just you know it's a concept it's an idea uh, I just want to share that idea so uh, yeah so we've mentioned the tensioning head because of course the you can see on here this is one of the key ways we have the warding there on the front there that stops you from putting tension on with other tools and also the tensioning head has to move tensioning portion has to move underneath this warding similar to a tubular lock but as you can see if we put the key in there you can see that'll pass normally it'll pass through I suppose this one's a little bit big or actually it, it's got a burr on it that's what that is there's a burr on that but anyway when it doesn't have a burr on it the key passes through that that gap and then pushes all the discs down to the right heights so and obviously inside of here we have the lock itself with all the discs inside there so anyway um, this yellow piece here really is that part there because that part will intention the discs keep them in this or the pick tips keep the pick tips in the right positions and um, over there try and zoom in a bit or bring this closer so again we can see those little rubber bands there the rubber bands three little rubber bands there that give tension just like the rubber bands underneath this ring ring give tension see have them there um, and yeah there's not much else to that works very similar to how these work so uh, let's see what did I say yeah. and yeah you can see just to show you this picture here um, there's the outermost disc and then that one sits um, and allows it to pass through that one it sits in there um, and this piece here the inner disc sits inside that one so they feel like a, when they're together they would look something like that because they're all actually different sh shapes and sizes different sizes here so when you put them together like a puzzle they would sit together like that and of course they're pretty long the pieces are pretty long because you know, they have to go all the way down like that as you can see so they'd go they'd be sitting inside this brown piece here because actually that brown piece um, that brown piece is the tensioning part, that part's just the, the handle there. So, anyway, I think it gives you an idea of uh, this kind of tool. Again, I think it's a bit complex and so on, but it's uh, just an idea on how to maybe try and pressure these, these tubu, not tubular locks, these pagoda style locks. You can try and 
have an impression when I open. So, yeah, that's that idea anyway. Um, thanks.